Hi, this is Jane at Finkel Arena. It's April the 8th, 2016, and today I'm going to show you, well, the height of the grass is ridiculous, but also the difference between our Finca and our neighbours. Right, in particular, you need to look at the grass. We've got some patches that are a little bit bare, but in general, we have some huge, great big clumps, and they seem to come up like that if you disturb the ground in any way, or if you manure or what have you, and then other patches where the grass is less, and there's lots of flowers, and we get lots of insects, and, and then we get lots of birds. Now. My neighbour, he has olive trees and fig trees, just like us. And through the fence, you can see what he has. Now, is he out? I don't know, it's not so much cutting the grass as there just isn't any at all. Now this is a little bit of a mystery to us because as far as I can see when you accuse them of spraying like weed killer they say no 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 they don't do that. Now I saw him out spraying yesterday in between the olives but from what I could tell it was some kind of insecticide to keep the um, olive fly at bay. Now that shouldn't kill the grass. Actually, I'm not sure it does any good as far as the olive fly is concerned either. The reason for that is we don't spray. The people who had this place here before us, they don't spray. And the chap who had it before them, we actually met him and he didn't spray either. So for several years, there's not been any kind of insecticide or anything used on our finger. Now, two years ago, the entire Mediterranean world had a very bad olive harvest uh, because of olive fly. In fact, Italy was completely decimated with olive fly, but we had quite a lot of olive fly. And here's the thing, our neighbours, in fact, everybody here had a lot of olive fly. So all their spraying didn't seem to do anything at all. Now, I have been told by a local farmer who maintains that his olives and his figs are all organic, that they run a tractor pulling a harrow behind it between the rows of olives and that that pulls up all the weeds and the grass and weakens the roots and they all die and then of course nothing sets seed and over the years, year after year after year, there gets less and less and less grass and weeds and flowers and everything else on the finger. The only issue I have with that is that most of our olives here are wild olives. Uh, that is, they are self-seeded and just grow willy-nilly. They're not actually in rows. And because of all the rocks and the stones, which you can see there's loads of them, it's almost impossible to run a tractor anywhere. We do hear them. They have got little tractors and we do hear them, but there's an awful lot of of ground that can't be covered by the tractor but yet yeah, they go out with something and they spray it and um, one person actually said when we said what are you spraying he said uh, vitamins so who knows who knows they're not going to tell us Actually, I think a lot of them probably don't spray because the spray is going to be expensive. And people here are very canny. 
Where are you off to, Fergus? Come on. This is a terrible time of year for Fergus, as pretty as all this beautiful grasses and, and wildflowers and everything is, he gets speared by these corkscrew-like grass seeds. And they get stuck in his fur and then they work their way into the skin if we don't remove them. And, uh, and then he ends up with infections and antibiotics and uh, it's just just a nightmare. And of course it's the season for the garapatas, which are like ticks. So you have to be very, very particular about applying your front line or whatever it is you use. What are you after, dog? Hmm? Come on. Out of the long grass. He needs longer legs really, doesn't he? Okay, well, that's me finished for today. And, uh, oh, look, baby figs. Where? Can you see them? I can't actually see what I'm filming very easily. Anyway, there are baby figs. I've got the sun right in my eyes. Maybe if I come round a bit. No, I still can't get it right. Up under there. There we go. Baby figs. Okay, until next time, have a nice day.